Hello again. This is the watering man. This is spiritual toolbox number 12. The fruit of the spirit number 8. It's audio recording number 328. And this is October the 6th, 2021. <clears throat> <clears throat> now, I just uh, taught in the previous recording about... Uh, in the fruit of the spirit in Galatians 5.22, when it gets down to goodness, okay? Being that good ground, okay? The fertile, good ground, goodness, okay? In your thinking processes, coming out of that place of thinking and going right back in. Take those seeds, you're grabbing onto God's hand with all you got in hot pursuit, and he's pulling you out of that. Right back into his right-mindedness. Similar to like, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men, all humanity, all that stinking thing. He'll take care of that. Chop it out, consume it, and start refining. In the heat of the day, boiling it out like in a refiner's pot. And those impurities bull up at different temperatures, different fire trials, different pressures in your life, in the storms of your life, and in those... uh I the tornado, hurricane, all this stuff where he's jackhammering that stuff out or just wiping it off. But, you know, whatever, whatever is necessary, God is faithful. All right? He's trustworthy. To bring out that pistis that they translate as faithful, that seed that's going back into his truthfulness, back into his right mindedness, back into that union with God. He, you know, back in, in, E-N, I-N, and S-Y-N, that's, that's, uh, that union with God. You're coming out of that stuff in there, in each and every area of your thinking process, every thought process, and you got a whole myriad of that stinking thinking to come out of it, that poop thinking. Ooh, yuck. Get out. Okay? Now, <clears throat> Let's go to, I'm going to just read a little bit, probably comment lightly on it. Uh, let's go to Luke chapter 8, verse 8. Okay, speaking about this good ground. The one, the part of thinking processes that are, uh, it's fertile, good ground, existing Holding on to God the best you can. Okay? In the spirit, in your thinking process, is existing back into the self existing one. And it's growing, 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 growing. God's giving the increase as He is pulling you out. The Spirit of God's pulling you out. Not that me, myself, and I, your efforts. All you're doing is agree, 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 agree. Amen. Yes, sir. So be it. I be. Yes, sir, Lord. You're in hot pursuit. This is life. Just like a little minnow trying to get away from a bass or a fishing worm. Wham! Oh, that bass is after it. It's going to eat it because that's life to it. If it wastes too much energy and doesn't get the food, it's going to get skinny and die. Okay? Hop, shoot, follow me. Okay? <clears throat> now, <clears throat> just like Jesus said to the disciples when he's calling them out. Okay? He's disciplining your mind a little bit by little bit by little bit, line upon line, precept upon precept, thought process upon thought process. He's cutting that old stinking thinking out of there, that darkness, that ignorance of his ways out, making room so he can give the increase as you agree hotly in hot pursuit. Back, returning into the mind of God, and he gets the increase. From 1 to 2 to 4 to 8 to 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 2048, 4092. Already out of legion. That quick. Goes way past that. Stay in it. Exist in it. And you go into this exceeding great reward to the self-existing one. I am the self-existing one. Your great you're exceedingly great reward. You can't ask for any higher. 
there is no greater reward. <coughs> all this old, old works and stuff out of your own efforts. Or it's just grasping after the wind. Nothing there. Maybe some poop thinking. Yuck. You get out. Don't want that. You want the water, the pure, sincere word of the God. The thought processes of God coming into you. You're doing it in genuine, uh, genuineness. You're going back in there. You're existing. Okay, shooting your arrows, your efforts towards the target. Getting better, habitually practicing, hitting the right-mindedness of God. Hitting right on the will, the desire, the purpose, the bullseye of God. That car of mine's laughing at you. Got you shooting in the wrong direction. If I just work harder and I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Work myself to death. Just don't matter what you do. Just do, 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 do something. You're shooting out there like an idiot. And target. What God's wanting to do is behind you. <laughs> oh, Thinking all my good works is going to pot. The world's going to hell in a handbasket and nothing I can do about it. Now that world, not just this outside stuff, this gahay, this globe, this physical stuff. No, 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 no. It's not the cosmos stuff out here, this natural stuff. No, it's the cosmos in here. This orderly arrangement in your mind. God's reorder giving you the opportunity to do this. Be reasonable, my child, and sit my way. <laughs> That's what God is telling us to do, okay? Making it memorable. I'm trying to put out memory markers. So this toolbox is, man, I know which tool, which... Which, which nut, what size wrench I need right here. And right there it is. Back going right there in Glacier 522. Man, I'm getting all kinds of good stuff right there. All kinds of tools, man. I can, I can grasp on the God's hand real good right here. He'll pull me out. He does the work. Right? I'm watering you. Saturating the ground. Not just scattering seeds. A seed sower. No, 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 no. I'm watering, saturating your ground so that God can give the increase. Give me a spiritual toolbox. Okay? <coughs> and short. All this stuff, everything, all things work together for good. You just got to see it right, perceive it in the correct way. Understand and be enlightened to it. Because these are calamities, earthquakes, fiery trials, all this stuff. And if you was like, say, just take Daniel for a minute, instance. All of a sudden, they're going to throw you in the lion's den to be eaten up by those lions. They do. They feed them people all the time. Them lions, man. Them are bad cats, right? Kitty cat is big. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they're going to eat you up. And you go, oh, man, this is a calamity of calamities. Woe is me, pain, grief, and suffering. And doing that, you're identifying with that other thing. You're like partaking, you're eating of that fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. You're believing that ego dog. Your own alpha dog inside telling you, yeah, man, I'm just a good guy. If anything, it wants to point the finger at everybody else, all their thing. Oh, get that big old log, that big beam out of your own eye. So you see clearly to get this splinter, readjust your scene, your focus, a focus, a child of God. Right back into the God, mind of God. Go from your existence back into the self existent mind. Okay? <clears throat> now, let's go here and. <coughs> I'm just going to read it a little bit. Whew. I'll get my breath here. Um, Luke chapter 8, verse 8. Okay? Now I'm going to read the whole thing because I'm just going to do this. I might go a little deeper in some of it. Um, you know, but this is good ground. Okay? Another fell on good ground 
and sprang up and bear fruit a hundredfold, or like a hundred percent. Right, coming right back into God. It's going off full bore. Hot pursuit. Right, going bam, 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 bam. God, take me as far as I want. I want all that you got from me, Father. Increase your enlightenment in me, your understanding, and your love. Of your love that's beyond words. Give me that ability to have a charm in this area of my life. In this area of my thinking process. Let bring my existence in this area back into your existence to be fixed. Permanently fixed. And held. Be in union with you, Father God. Bring me right back into that nucleus of you, Goshen, the land of Goshen, the mind, the thought, the thinking process, the drawing near to God. You're coming out of that stinking thing, you're going right back into God and in and all this stuff. Okay? This whole meat of stuff, it's in the middle of you doing this stuff, in the midst of this stuff. Okay? <coughs> okay? And when he had said these things, he cried. He that hath an ear, that's that spiritual, seen, hear, and tear, taste, touch, and smell, your five senses, not married to that ego thing. If you can recognize that, acknowledge God in this, get in that, exist in that, and Christ first. Yahweh, or uh, Jesus Christos, like Jesus. Yahweh is salvation, is deliverance from this thing, and do it in the Christ. Exist into the self-existing one, Yahweh. Okay? Let, it says, he that hath an ear, let him hear. Don't stay in that crap thinking no more with the diarrhea, the shits. S-H-I-T-T-S. -T -T married to your old stinking thinking. Ooh, yuck. You're trusting that lying son of a buck. That lying alpha dog, that he hauling donkey, speaking stuff you can't even. It's not intelligible speaking. It's not speaking the language of God. No. Exist in that language of God, like speaking in other tongues, communicating your prayers or your communication with God in this process is like speaking in other tongues. You might be speaking English or your native language being the natural, but you're speaking, you're, you're communicating in your thought processes. You're existing into the self-existing one. That's why, that's deeper understanding, okay? But that's what you got to do. That's what's going on. <laughs> okay? Woohoo! Great party time in this here fiery furnace for... Uh, my, this ship, wah, just be quiet. Be still. Put a muzzle in it. Put a sock in that old dog. Eh, shove a thing in that thing. Take some duct tape around it. Shut up, old dog. I ain't listening to you. <laughs> that duct tape would be like a tool, right? For the toolbox, right? <laughs> Not just wrenches and screwdrivers and all this stuff. It could be a, a old duct tape. Put around that dog's mouth. Shut up, you dog. And it's there. So go, yeah, I can't hear you. Sit down. Lay down there, dog. I need a pillow, man. I'll go back down in the ship. But Jesus, take a nap. Yeah. God's got this. I don't have to worry about it. I'll just seek you first, the kingdom of God. You know, be like that single eyed and seven dub. Focus on Daniel's son in that one eye. Focused on that. It's tidally locked like the moon to the earth. Same side, always facing that, always communicating with that. You're existing. One to two to four to eight, right? Boom, boom, boom. Falling into love with God. I'm not going to fall in love with this old alpha dog. It's got bandages on its eyes. Now it's got duct tape around its mouth. Okay? <laughs> Shut up, you old dog. Be quiet. Be still. Yep. Get out. Okay? All right? Now, <clears throat> that's verse 8. I'm going to jump up here to in Luke 8, verse 15 real quick, okay? Just kind of touch and hit and go, okay? Because uh, I'm limited on my time here, okay? 
Now, verse 15 of Luke chapter 8, it says, But that on the good ground, the one fell on the good ground, are they which in an honest and good heart, good mindset, good thinking process, it's that fertile ground, right? Okay? Have heard the word of God. Have heard the word, the logos, the logos. The spiritual word of God, the thought process of God, they've heard it. They see, hear, taste, touch, and smell, but then they hear it in that other language, in the language of the tongues. It's not in the bark, bark, bark. I'm not speaking bark, 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 or parakeet. Bark, 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 Like a chicken, maybe. <laughs> or <laughs> that sounds more like a chicken, you know. But, uh, you know, just rhema, the written word. Nah. Nomos, the, 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 the law, yeah. Nah. Go on beyond that. Go into the Logos, the very spiritual word of God, the thought processes of God. Exist in that and communicate with God in that. See, it's not just big, 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 big. Or you can ask, but see, you're asking more precisely. You're in agreement with God. And when it agrees with God, ooh, pull you out there. You pull loose, you're turning your back on God. You're like Lot's wife. Hear that woe is me of all this stuff going on out in like Sodom, out in this burnt junk, out in this, with all these philip, philipsis and all this, you know, the pressures, tribulations, all this fiery trials in your life. Do you turn around for that? Pay this and that. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Whoops. Whoops. We gotta deal with this. <laughs> Stop your progress. Hold on a minute. No, 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 no. We don't want to do that. Okay? You're shooting yourself in the foot. Oh, 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 oh. I'm dying again. Okay? <laughs> All right. Now. Now on this verse 15 of Luke chapter 8, but that on the good ground are they which in an honest and good heart, good mind, so good thinking processes, it's being fired on productive, okay? Have heard the word of God, have heard it, seen here to take such a spell with Christ in control, not that ego in control. The word, the thought processes of God, right? The spiritual word, the thought processes of God, right in here. Not based on all this junk and turning to a pillar of salt like Lot's wife. Oh no, oh no, I'm very afraid. You know, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. Second Timothy one seven. In the world there must be tribulation, pressure, the ellipsis, in this world of thinking, and all these pressures working like a catalyst to give you rocket fuel if you'll just agree with God and hot pursuit. In the world there must be tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I, the self-existent one, God, have overcome the world, have overcome this thing. He showed you, they sent Jesus Christ, Jesus is salvation, or Yeshua is salvation, Jesus, uh, Yeshua, Yahweh is salvation, but all tongue-tied there, through Christos, the pattern son, he showed us, you see me, you see the Father. Okay, all right, it says, uh, I'll read it again, okay, a little quick or not, but that on the good ground are they which in the heart and good heart, a good, good, honest and good heart, have heard the word and keep or guard it, protect it, hang on, baby, hang on, they're persevering through it, okay? And bring forth fruit with patience. Patient endurance, okay? That long suffering, okay? I covered that a little later, earlier, I mean. Okay, now let's go to Matthew chapter 7. Okay, I love you. Verse 18. Be safe, sweetie. Okay, 
In verse 18 of chapter 7 of Matthew, it says, A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit or bad fruit. That diary of thinking. Don't turn around. Okay? That mature fruit. Okay? Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good tree, good fruit. You get in that old stinking thinking with that sit you're seeing here and taste that's a smell, responding to that old ego thing inside you, that me, myself, and I, that's it, trying to edge God out. It can't bring forth this mature fruit. It stops, separates you. The day, the very time, the order, whenever the heat of the day when God's doing this inside of you, and you choose. In that eye of the tornado, eye of the hurricane, in this very pressure-sensitive fire trial stuff, you give in to it. You turn back to it. You put a stop. Oops, got to go back out in the wilderness and around this mountain here, deal with this stuff. You're like touching that big old oil slick of poop. I see in here and taste that smell. You got diarrhea for a little bit. Hopefully you get out pretty quick and you turn back around. Yeah, that's why he's growing, 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 right? As you notice, if it starts doubling, 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 pressures go up, but you're able to, just like in Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you're in there, man, that's hot stuff. Five times as hot. But you don't respond to that. Don't believe what you're just... Your old scene here, taste, touch, and smell. That's that ego dog was telling you. Oh, no, we're going to die. We're going to die. The ship's going to sink. Like the disciples were telling Jesus. Eh, how long have I got to put up with you guys? Right? Don't believe that bull crap. Okay? So, a good tree cannot bear evil fruit, bad fruit. Okay? And basically, neither can a corrupt tree eating that poop thinking your own right-mindedness, your own righteousness, and it says, filthy menstruous rags, Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6, and like Isaiah 30, verse 18, or 19 through 22. Ooh, yuck. Get that stuff out of there. Get out. Talk. Beat it. Just beat it. Okay? Another memory marker. Okay? Okay? Now, <clears throat> I did that. I'm going to provide another. I'm going to try to provide another little memory marker. They're like a little, little, little song thing to uh, help you with this good ground. Okay, like a tool. Hang on. <clears throat> okay, this is that good fertile ground existing back into the self-existing one as we do this. Okay. Now, you're asking God, please allow me, when you're in this eye of the tornado, eye of the hurricane, can you agree into God hotly, or you can disagree, fall away, or agree, and with all you got, hold on, hold on, persevere with all your strength, because God's strength is not the weak link, that's not the problem, God is faithful, trustworthy. He's omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent, sovereign. Yeah, don't have no problems there. He's a supreme divinity. Okay? God's not going to fail you. God loves you beyond words. Just be reasonable and see it my way, my child. Remember, don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Right? Okay. <coughs> now. When you're in this, I had the tornado, okay? You say it to God. <clears throat> <coughs> allow me to, allow me to stop banging my head. Ba -bom -bom. This mental health will drive you mad. Stop banging your head ba -bom -bom. in the night. Quit walking around like you're dead. Bum, bum, bum. Remember, like you're dead. Like to be carnally minded to non-spiritually minded, feeding and partaking of that old wrong tree, your own carnal mind, 
It is like being dead. The calm, to be carnally minded is death, right? Romans 8. Carnal mind is enmity with God, right? <clears throat> now, let's re sing that little part. When you're saying, uh, allow me to. Stop banging my head. Ba -bum -bum. Stop walking around like you're dead. Stop banging your head ba -bum, in the night. Quit walking around like you're dead. Bow, bow, bow. Now, let's go on a little bit more. <clears throat> well, I'm a child of God, a son of a doctor, and I believe in to you, Father. Like in hot pursuit. Make some noise and cut out and chop out this wood. Thinking in me and my mind. Allow me to stop being in my head. Ba -bum -bum. This mental health will drive you mad. Stop banging your head in the night. Stop walking around like you're dead. Come to life in Christ. Right? Woo, boy, just go right into it. This is like all this fruit of the Spirit, and it's like like that good ground. In the fruit of the Spirit, right? Goodness. Being fertile ground. Productive. Bring those seeds, choosing in hot pursuit to exist into that self-existing one. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Party time! Right in the midst of whatever. Big old, big old Goliath over here, man, just all the long time just bad-mouthing you and threatening you and telling you he's going to kill you and tor not just kill you, he's going to torment you and all this stuff and saying all kinds of blasphemous things in your mind, telling you God is going to do all this bad stuff to you because you're a bad boy. You're going to be put in a bad corner. Yep, look what this is. Look at this jaw stuff. Being, you know, when it's getting farther up into the... Uh, that you're green, 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 and then all of a sudden, you know what? You're doing this bad stuff coming out of you, this straw. Oh, that's you're just an awful person. No, no, no. Agree with God. Ooh, yuck. That is that's nasty. Please chop this out, skim this off, so it's gone, gone, gone. Yuck. Thinking, be gone. Get out. Right. Get out. Yuck, put it out and possess that land, that mind, that thought process in its place let with the right mindedness of God. Don't turn back like Lot's, like Lot's wife to that old Solomon Gomorrah, that burned up crap. Ooh, that baggage. Oh man, I gotta hang on to this because I put a lot of years in that study in this. Just thought, uh, yeah, I've invested a lot in that. That's me, myself, and I. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm just, that's my right thinking. Yeah, that's my righteousness, and it's not bullcrap. It's good. Here, have a hot dog. <laughs> big old poop filled hot dog. Here, you got a milkshake, dude. Oh, it's like eating that slop in that prodigal stuff. <laughs> With the hog pee and hog poop. The mud and a little bit of water said, man, that's got good stuff to drink right there. That's the thought processes of God. That's good. This is good stuff. Man, y'all look down at your nose at this person over here. Man, blame, 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 blame. Point to blame. Condemn, condemn, condemn. It says in Romans chapter 8, verse 1, There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lay it out there, examine it. Don't be afraid of that. God has not given you a spirit of fear or an attitude of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. Make sure you line up in God's precise, correct timing, in God's precise, correct, right mindedness, and God, the uh, love, God bring you back to where you can love God. Complete that child. That agape love that's not yet completed, 
that he put it within you and bring it back to you can complete it at a greater level coming into that Racham. Thank you. If you like this, hit like and subscribe. And I got to quit because this is on, it's about to run out. Thank you very much. This has been a Spiritual Toolbox with Waterman, number 12. The Fruit of the Spirit, number 8. Audio recording, number 326. And this is 10-6 of 2021. Have an awesome day. Thank you. Bye-bye.